Hi everybody. Hello. Welcome back <laughs> to our conversation. My name is Pepin van der Berg. I'm here with Miyoki to continue our conversation. We this is our fourth episode and earlier we talked about fear. How to step out of your fear, how to to um, be free. Um, of course, we are still in this uh, crisis. We are very aware of uh, what we are uh, experiencing at the moment. And, um, and last time we talked about the power of gratitude, fe feeling grateful, uh, as to navigate uh, what is happening during this um, crisis. But um, I think, we think that we have uh, struck upon a, a new level in this crisis. First of all, we are both Dutch. <laughs> <laughs> we are exploring a very difficult topic. So uh, bear with us if we have to search for words now and then. <laughs> so um, yes, I think we have reached, uh, it's the 22nd of, no, uh, of September 2021. And in three days time, um, everybody, um, there's a new level of control. Let's say that, uh, let's say that in our society where you have to show a QR codes and those kind of things. So, um, a new level of craziness, a new level of craziness. And um, we have been nav navigating this, this crisis for the past, what is it, 18 months, 15 19, mo 19 months. And um, when we talk about ourselves, how come um, we, I, from my point of view, why am I less susceptible for the, the, the narrative that is mainstream. I've been wondering about that. Mm. Um, in the previous videos, we talked about that I have a, a practice for natural health, that I um, uh, also help um, people who experience stress and trauma. And, but first of all, I have a Master of Arts in English literature, uh, in the English language. So. I've read books like George Orwell, 1984, previously. I ha uh, so the, the English language, the English literature, the books like 1984, Animal Farm, books like that, which I read when I was 15, 16, perhaps earlier, seeds were planted in my mind. And you always forget these books. And then I had my, um, my uh, education in natural health. So how do we deal with, with uh, feelings, being sick? What, what role is our immune system? So you are marinated already in a different um, way of thinking. So then it's very strange that when I had to lock down, I couldn't, uh, um, I couldn't uh, be a natural health practitioner anymore. It is very strange. I was very emotional that I couldn't, um, that my way of dealing with health wasn't mainstream. I wasn't essential. And it really broke my heart. It really did. And I think when you experience such a break, such a physical uh, experience of being um, heartbroken, you step away from what is, I think, mainstream. You start looking, what is going on? And do you relate to that at all, Miyoki? Mm, yes, I do. Because in my training as, um, what's it called? <laughs> First responder? Yeah. Uh, um, First rule is uh, step back and watch what's going on before step forward to start helping. Mm -hmm. The first step back. Yeah. Don't touch the patient. Don't touch. <laughs> yeah. First, uh, uh, you assess with your eyes. Yeah. 
patient surroundings, what, what, what's going is on. Is it safe? Is it safe? Yeah. Is it safe for the patient, safe for the people around, um, whatever. First, safety first, yeah. also for yourself. Yeah. And not in a selfish way, but for everybody concerned. Yeah. Take a step back first. So that's what I do recognize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yes, when there is when there is danger, when somebody's hurt, when there is a illness uh, going on, we step back and we start to uh, um, yeah look. Yeah. What what is going on? Um, so. Um, and then we had to deal with that our way of um, thinking, our way of viewing things um, meant that there was a separation from friends, family. Uh, we had to deal with discussions that we have never had to deal with before. Which is, and, and one thing we also have in common, I think, with people who also experience the, the same thing, is that we are, we are very, um, I think, sensitive. I think we've had to overcome a certain sensitivity in our lives. So we are, we are kind, we would like to, everybody, we have a big heart. Include. We include everybody. Mm -hmm. And we respect everybody, but then I, 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 I ran into a wall of, um, of people who thought I was stupid or, uh, well, uh, this is the only way out. And uh, I had to, to ignore a great deal of my, um, uh, my training and everything. And my sensitivity was very... Um, yeah, I was overwhelmed with the discussions, with, um, yeah, I don't want to fight with anybody. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're dealing with, with this narrative that, that this is a group which, which follows the narrative, who feel empowered, and we are put aside as being crazy and, and, and everything. Dangerous. So, and dangerous, the so bombs, yeah, and, and fascists, yeah, and and I and at the same time, I want to stay in my compassion, mm -hmm. and I want to to um, yeah. So this is really the next step of navigating, being um, perhaps left out, or, or yeah. So and. Um, so we also talked about them. I don't, you know, it's difficult. But I, I, what I notice, what I see, is that you can be kind of hypnotized through this. It's a mass hypnosis. It's a mass hypnosis, and you've read a lot about, um, yeah, a lot about it in books. I know sideways from what it what it means, but it. Yeah, it's a kind of hypnosis which feels safe, I think. It's very safe to follow the narrative, to be in a hypnotic state. So you, yeah, it's safe, I think. Yeah, I surely think it has to do with feelings of safety. Um, but I also think it's a false safety, mm -hmm. which makes it unsafe. And, and, and dangerous. For who? For us? Uh, for everybody. Yeah, in the end also for them. In the end, for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because if you start dividing people and pushing people around uh, top down, yeah, um, it's, it's a very, very dangerous situation you are creating. Yeah. When you start spreading um, fear uh, false, f fake news, is mm -hmm. it is called, mm -hmm. fake news. Um, well, it's not all the news. No, that's it's true. It's part of the news. <laughs> that's true, which yeah. makes it, it, may, it, I think it's difficult these days to, um, to see whether 
uh, news is okay mm-hmm. or whether it's fake. Mm-hmm. You should have a really, really good eye yeah. to, to see the difference. And yeah. I think it's dangerous. Mm-hmm. I think if you are um, fair and square in your way of thinking, um, you should be, uh, you should not have to show fear because uh, the opposite is uh, give neutral information and let people decide for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's where it started, where it went wrong. Yeah. Right from the start, right from the beginning, day one. Yeah. And then it started escalating. At the, and, and I think this... Yeah, I think it, it's very important that you say that because then you have a choice. Because it's yeah. both, both sides are respected. Yeah. The side that wants to deal with it in a natural way, who wants mm-hmm. to have their, their, their uh, healthy lifestyle, Healthy mm-hmm. lifestyle means healthy mind, healthy body, and healthy everything emotions. Like that. And for those who um, want to to explore, or want to have the the regular um, medica- medication, well, they can do that. Yeah, there, there, but which what like before? There are people who want to deal with their. Uh, headaches or stomach aches or mental issues in a very alternative well it's not really an alternative a complementary way mm-hmm. integrative way and there are people I have no time for uh, let me have that pill but now we're all forced to to go in that funnel in that tunnel of the one vision yeah. so uh, that's a divide so that we are we don't have a choice anymore and we're not respected for oh you want to do it that way be my guest, it's totally fine. And there is a mix up in language as well because um, vaccination should be about health. Yeah. And vaccination should not be about freedom. Well, that, that's a huge mix yeah, up. There it, yeah, there it goes uh, wrong. Yeah. Uh, uh, even my um, general practitioner, my family doctor, you should take the vaccine because you also want your freedom back. Mm-hmm. I, I was flabbergasted. I yeah. really was. And my question was, uh, this vaccination should be for my health, right? Yeah. Yeah. I know that 70 to 80% of my immune system is in my gut, which is compromised. Yeah. I know that. Mm-hmm. And why are you not telling me um, the, the, the ways to prevent this disease, mm-hmm. to strengthen my gut, to strengthen my immune system. Yeah. And thank God I have the ways and I have the education to find out myself. But I think it should be first line medical care. And it well, should you be... have to stretch your paradigm. It's not in their paradigm. Yeah, but it's also, you, uh, it's also not um, one solution for all. Mm-hmm. You should be looking at your, when you're a doctor, you should be looking at your patients. Uh, you look at how they are, the sickness they've had, if they are susceptible for this disease, mm-hmm. uh, lifestyle, yeah. and so forth and so on. Yeah. And that's a discussion I had with my GP as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Like, look at me, I know I have this bowel problem, yeah. which is... Better, by the way, I had it checked, no leakages, no uh, inflammations. Mm. So I have a fairly normal working gut at this moment. Yeah, hooray! Yay. <laughs> so my immune system should be okay too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do help it along, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm also not a person to go, in, uh, to go in a restaurant or to go in a bar or to sit on a terrace or to... Um, mm-hmm. I go to events where a lot of people are gathered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's also, that, that's a, that might be a, uh, a risk, yeah. which I don't have. No. So look, look at all aspects and then give your advice. Not one advice fits all because it doesn't. No, it, it doesn't. just doesn't. Yeah. You should be very careful for that. Mm-hmm. And, um, when you're trying to lead a country of 17.5 million people and you want to 
point the nose is in one direction, then of course you start sowing fear. Yeah. And then of course you start promoting vaccines. And then you, okay, then you start um, dividing people at the bottom of the pyramid. Yeah. Because then there's no power to stand up again. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm always saying you have to start, uh, you have to keep connecting or start reconnecting to make a very strong base and to stand up yeah. for your own yeah. uh, feelings, for your own right, for your own voice. Yeah. You need to voice your opinion. Yeah. But I think... In, 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 a, um, in a good way. Yeah. I mean, not to divide, but to unite. Yeah. Yeah. And to be a, a, an example. All that also. I think we have to lead in, in being an example by having our hearts open, being compassionate, and really um, looking... I think because yeah. then when, when you are, are in a, a fighting uh, mode, you give the other person ar um, weapons to, to fight back. When, when you disarm yourself, you say, look at me, I look at you, I respect your, your opinion, let's, uh, let's have a conversation. But be gentle, be kind, be um, like we always were. Yeah, and we we used we, to, be. We used to be, uh, yeah, and we were already promoting. Um, I had a conversation th this morning with a, with a new client, and she did everything in the the medical um, medically her, her her, and and now we. She she wanted to to um, to explore things uh, with me. My way of of looking at so I've never been. You see me for the first time. This is the first time somebody really sees me for what I have. Yeah. Because I don't have any filter. I don't have my medical training. I don't have my protocols. She just have to... I look at you from... from and I see who you are. And there we, we, we will step in and I will... Um, help deal with your with your the, the 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 question you want to deal with i think that's a problem these days as well because it's apparently very difficult to see things as they are yeah that that's that's the first thing <laughs> it's it's unbelievable yeah. to me because if you uh, start developing consciousness when you start meditating yeah. when you start uh, slowing down when you when you connect to nature when you connect to other people when you connect to your creative source um, uh, when you connect to uh, gratitude to your gratefulness there are all ways to start seeing things as they are yeah and without having to change yeah anything yeah it's just just be just be. And a candle is a candle, and a candle is not ju is not a singing bowl. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, I think that's, yeah. that's, that, that's craziness as well of these times we're living in. Yeah, and I think because we have overcome um, our own fears, we have over overcome certain personal issues, that you really open your eyes and start to see what is, and we do, and also we've overcome that things have to change. They don't. They don't. We because just accept are, how it are. how it is, and then we'll deal with we'll we'll and then we we set our boundaries. Do we want to deal with it? Yes or no. You don't have to change the thing, yeah. but we can choose to do something else. Yeah, or you can say. Uh, uh, okay, I see this is a thing I have to deal with, um, but I can't do it all right now. So mm. I'm doing a little bit, and then the next day a little bit, and next week yeah. another little bit. Yeah. And there's also um, a natural rhythm everybody has, mm -hmm. like nature has a natural rhythm. Yeah. And the prob I, I, I think the problem occurs when you start uh, uh, going against the rhythm, mm -hmm. yeah. And when you start, start against pushing the flow. against the flow, against the yeah. rhythm, against the season, against yeah. the, when you start to get in this fighting mode, yeah, 
it's a it's a fighting mm-hmm. mode. You're losing mm-hmm. energy, mm-hmm. Uh, and with energy, you lose your uh, capability to uh, um, to create more energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you um, uh, you're getting more and more unhealthy. You feel depleted. Yeah. Also. Yeah. I think it's very dangerous. Yeah. It is in dangerous. our in our in our collective health. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, within my studies, the Chinese uh, medical studies, you're very trained to watch nature, to watch the season, to eat from the season, to yeah. eat from the area you're mm-hmm. living in, mm-hmm. because that are the the bacteria you're carrying yeah. also in your system yeah. because your body yeah. is nature. Yeah. So if your um, uh, the nature around you mm-hmm. is being taken away by uh, windmills, uh, uh, more and more housing, um, mm-hmm. uh, whatever it is, uh, man-made, um, the more unhealthy you get because you have no time. Yes, yeah. there's, there's no momentum anymore. You can charge. Yeah, you can recharge. And it's also a divide. And it's a divide. When I keep eating avocados, let's say, I don't know where they grow, <laughs> in Africa, then I connect with African soil, African sun, but I'm Dutch. Yeah. I have to eat apples from grown yeah. in, in my own country to, to connect to, the, the, um, yeah. To, to, yeah, to the nature there is here. I think it's a beautiful example. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now we're going into uh, fall, and I, I always like this uh, this turning mm-hmm. because of all the colors, the falling of the leaves. The falling of the leaves uh, makes it very clear how important it is to let go, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. let go of um, certain things in your life or certain things you always thought uh, what they were mm-hmm. and which yeah. might not be the case. It's um, and it's also colorful. Yeah, it's a very colorful season. It's the harvest season. Mm-hmm. So besides letting go, it's also uh, what did you sow? What yeah. what did come up? Yeah. And what can you harvest? Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, to really look at it mm-hmm. and and not just uh, um, saying the apple is a is a strawberry right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apple yeah. is an apple is an apple is an apple. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. So um, you reap what you sow. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> and I think a lot of seeds have been planted. Yeah. So I'm a little bit afraid. I don't think that I'm, I'm always positive, but mm. I'm a little bit afraid of the harvest we will sow in. Um, in the near future, but I, I would like to remain positive. I think that being strong ourselves, being really full in our hearts, in our minds of um, our own um, uh, yeah, philosophy, I think it helps so that other people can come over and explore what we have to say. Yeah, I think it's always good to explore every site and yeah. I have a, a really big problem with the divide that's going on right now also in the scientific world that uh, some scientists will be heard mm-hmm. always be heard will be at speaking tables every day every day every day yeah and uh, sci- uh, other scientists that have uh, uh, a little or a little bit more uh, mm, a few, an educated mm-hmm. uh, few, that things are different. Mm-hmm. They are being pushed away yeah. out out of the narrative, and I think that's a very very bad sign. Also, um, not only uh, information wise for the people, yeah, but also scientific wise because science has always been making an assumption, ask questions, explore, mm-hmm. explore, explore. Mm-hmm. Hey, this, this, this narrative is not right. Start new question. Yeah. Start new narrative. Explore, yeah. explore, explore. Yeah. And that's how science evolves. 
Yeah. And it stops when you leave people out mm -hmm. and when you stop asking questions, when questions uh, may not be asked anymore. Yeah. So that's another concern yeah. I have, yeah. except from um, talking to the people uh, only one-sided. Mm -hmm. This is the other thing I'm, I'm worried about. So, hey, what, what's going on there yeah. in the development of science? This yeah. is not, I don't think this is a helping way. No. This. I think it's important to start listening. And listening doesn't mean you have to agree. No. And I always like to hear, uh, when you have a virus situation, mm -hmm. I always like to hear all of, or as many points of view. Yeah. And with my, uh, my education, then I can see, um, well, this view, mm -hmm. I think it's more logical. Yeah than yeah. this one, mm -hmm. which doesn't mean disrespect, but mm -hmm. pure in a logical way yeah. is, hey, and sometimes I think, hey, it's a totally different outcome, yeah, which expands my mind, mm -hmm. my heart, my, my knowledge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, I think it has to do with being and staying open and yeah. include, yeah, include every way of thinking, mm -hmm. every way of um, watching or uh, addressing a problem yeah yeah and don't mock don't uh, those those nasty words mm -hmm. don't divide mm -hmm. don't do it just no it's yeah. it's, it's no-go I think it's if we want to change the the way we are going mm -hmm. at this moment I think the only way out is to um, reach out uh, include Stand up and speak your truth. Let mm -hmm. your voice be heard. Yeah. Because otherwise we're going yeah. away. I don't think it's, it's a good way to go, but that's my personal opinion. Yeah. And I think that speaking about scientists, I think people hide behind scientists. Yeah. And we forget what my grandmother always used to say is when you're ill, go to bed. Rest. <laughs> rest for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, or however long it takes. So we rest. forget what all the, the what, what our grandmothers said, what, what women said in the, in the history, our, our knowledge of, of herbs, our knowledge of, of living with the, with the land, with the seasons, what you talked about. And um, also being, being ill is not, is not always very bad. But we've also learned to be afraid of fever, of being ill, and not take the time for the, those two weeks to be ill and let, let you be taken care of. Um, mm. has somebody brings soup, uh, the neighbor brings, I don't know what. Also taking care of each other. Yep. And, and, um, in, in the old days when you were sick, you always had people come to come and visit. And now mm. with the lockdown, don't come in my house. You might be a virus bomb. So, sorry about that. Little hiccup in my uh, storage room. <laughs> 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 yeah, we were talking about that um, in the early days. Um, yeah, you were visited when you were ill. You were treated with compassion and love. People took care of you. TLC. TLC. And I think it's not a thing we should forget. It's true. Yeah. And also, don't forget that living brings death about. Hmm. Yeah. So mm. every day you're living with it, only you forgot. Yeah. And we live with thousands of bacteria and viruses think you have like two kilograms in your gut alone. We're not sterile. No, <laughs> no. we're not. And you shouldn't try to be because no. they keep you alive. It's, it's all about balance. Yeah. And I think life is about balance. Emotions mm -hmm. are about balance. Mm -hmm. It's not like ruling this out or that out. It's like, look at it, what it is. Yeah. As it is. And um, it's checks and balances every mm -hmm. day. Your body is always um, trying to find a balance. I think there's only 
24-7. I think there's only one um, exact point at a day that your body's totally in balance. Mm -hmm. And all, uh, all the other time, it's trying to keep the balance or yeah. trying to find the balance. Yeah, it's our homeostasis. Yeah. And we always want, we, our, our brain, our bodies know what the homeostasis is. Yeah. And uh, we have a, we have a, um, a parasympathetic nervous system that always wants to help us go to this balance. Yeah. And we always, w with our mind, we can, we can, um, yeah, we can resist that. We can, um, yeah, we go to, to late, uh, to bed at night, we eat the things that is not healthy. Um, there are so many things that, 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 um, yeah, the balance is far, is, is, is gone. But our bodies always want to try to, to go back to homeostasis. Yeah. And can deal with everything. Yeah, in the end. Maybe you want to share your vision about those viruses? What they do, what we talked about before we started. Um, yeah, well, it's recording. it's uh, it's uh, it's not my vision. It's mm. uh, it's a vision according to the five biological laws by mm. uh, Dr. Hamer. And not to go really very deep into it is that in the third or no, it's the I think it's the fourth biological law is that bacteria, fungi and viruses are there to help us. Mm -hmm. So with a, a beautiful metaphor is that a house is on fire and then the firemen come to put out the fire. And really in this, uh, there's also something called the, the germ theory and the terrain theory. So the terrain is on fire and the, the firemen are there to help, but in the, the germ theory, we kill the firemen because we think that, they, uh, that the fire is their uh, doing, their fault. Mm -hmm. So viruses are genetic material that wants to educate us. So that's a very, it's, it's, it's living with the land, living with our bacteria, living with viruses, living with fungi, it's all message, messaging mm -hmm. how to, to, re, to keep our homeostasis, to keep uh, ourselves updated with new, in the new surroundings, with new uh, viruses, with new mm. everything. So that's, that's, uh, and we can handle it with love and care. Huh? Yep. That's, that's, that's one, I think, very loving and compassionate, also compassionate to a virus, to a bacteria, to fungi. What is your message? Uh, are we trying to update uh, our, our beautiful uh, system, our beautiful yeah. homeostasis, the balance in our, our body? We shouldn't be afraid to be sick. We can handle it. The, the fear of fever is frightening. Not being able to eat or drink is frightening. Uh, not to be able to smell or, or taste is frightening. But when your surroundings help you, say you'll be all right. Um, I know the fever is, is, is frightening. Let's see what we can do to help you. Um, what would you like to eat? Is it this or is it that? Mm -hmm. So everything be, to be, take care of you so you can deal with this with uh, things like uh, experiencing COVID, uh, dealing with this, uh, with the virus, um, and then you, you are strong enough, you have your antibodies, you are, your immune system is updated, and um, yeah, and you feel stronger than ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one of the ways, um, I hoped would would become uh, mainstream, yeah. and I re I still do. So the 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 five biologicals of Dr. Hammer or the germ terrain theory that it has more it will um, be more mainstream. It's yeah. one of my hopes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why I asked about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> to make it more mainstream. Yeah, yeah, it's one way of of looking at it. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. yeah. So, and there are many ways to look at one issue. Yeah, that's why where we started our conversation. Yeah, take your hand, take a step back, and start exploring uh, yeah. every way. Yeah. So, thank <laughs> you for watching. Thank you for watching. And see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.